Hello and welcome to Dave's Off Grid On Grid Adventures. In this episode, we're going to be installing a positive bus bar in our 24 volt solar power battery system. That's going to involve cutting some two gauge wire, crimping lugs on it, and making our connections to the bus bar. This will allow us to clean up some of our positive terminal connections we have going to and from the battery system. For instance, coming from our MPPT charge controller, from the server rack battery to the second battery bank, and removing some temporary connections and attaching them properly to the positive bus bar. Okay, let's get started. All right, so let's mark where our positive bus bar is going to go. And we'll go ahead and drill our holes. With the positive bus bar mounted down, we can now run our positive connections coming from the charge controller and then going to the batteries. Before we can start attaching our wires to the positive bus bar, we need to make a new wire. This is a two gauge wire. It's going to be running from one of the batteries to the bus bar. We're going to strip it down and install lugs on it. To crimp the wires, we're just going to use this simple crimping tool that you use with a hammer. So we'll put our lugs on. This makes a nice crimped connection for our lugs. Now we'll do the same thing on the other side. Give it a nice tug to make sure that we have got a good connection. And then now we can place shrink wrap on. And we'll cut out some shrink wrap. And then we can do our other one.
Okay, so this is our main positive wire coming in off of our solar charge controller. This one's going to run down to our first battery bank, and then this one will run to our second one. The smaller gauge wire is for a connection to a Victron Servo GX, which communicates with the smart shunt to provide information on the battery system. We're going to get a little bit of spark on this one. This is going from the main charge controller and inverter. Now you can avoid that spark if you use a pre-charge resistor. It will spark like that when the capacitors are energizing in the solar charge controller. All of our connections are now tight, and we can turn everything back on. With the positive bus bar installed and everything powered back on successfully, we have completed this project. Now we can move on to the next project. So coming up in the next episode, we're going to install this 12 24 volt fuse block. We're going to mount this DIN rail to the wall. And then we're also going to take that DIN rail and attach this DC to DC converter for our power over Ethernet injector. And all of that is going to go up here on the wall next to our positive bus bar we just installed. Wrap things up. We installed a positive bus bar to help with cable management, made new terminal connections from the bus bar to the battery system. Then we moved some temporary connections to the bus bar, such as our Victron Servo GX and our Power Over Ethernet injector. Coming up in the next video, we're going to properly mount our DC fuse block and Power Over Ethernet injector. Make sure you stay tuned for the next episode. If you have any comments or questions about this video, leave them down in the comments section. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please do so. We'll see you next time here on Dave's Off-Grid, On-Grid Adventures.